What's going on, YouTube? It's Dan again. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, share, whatever, all that shit you know. Hit the notification. I apologize about the rudimentary of the videos. I'm not the type of guy that's going to flash you out with, uh, you know, a girl sitting on a hood and all that stuff, you know. So I'm not going to try to clickbait you as much as I can. So, you know, I do appreciate all the, the, the subs and stuff, but let's get into this video. Today, I'm going to be talking about this T5 that came out of here. Now, if you've been following this video, you know that I bought this turbo car, which is rock solid, right? It's got all the, you know, all the things that I want, all the things that I like. It's, it doesn't have rotted towers at all. All the pans look good. The torque boxes look good. Just needs some tires and driven and retuned. But to be honest with you, I started looking in deeper, it had a broken axle and it was rolling around with a four cylinder transmission, which that's a fucking no go for me. So obviously we got some stuff to do. Uh, basically this video is about the difference between a world-class Borg Warner T5 and a four cylinder T5. Now I know there's videos and information out there, but I wanted to show you firsthand because I'm going to be messing with that stuff right now. So let's go ahead and get into this video and I'm going to show you, I'm going to go from piece by piece and just show you kind of what the difference is. Let's get into it. I'm going to start from the bottom. This is a small block 302, which is the same as a 351. Um, as you can see, the pilot bearing here is different from a four cylinder and a V8. So if you're going to put a four cylinder transmission in a damn V8, you got to change this pilot bearing. You can't run this one. Um, I'm going to give you a reference. I think it's an 84 2.2 diesel Ranger. I think that is the, I'm pretty sure that's the, the one, you, you know, you can look it up on, uh, on Google, uh, but I think it's 8384 2.2 diesel Ranger, which is a super rare motor, but you can still get this pilot bearing for it. I also think it's an alternator bearing, but I could be wrong, but it fits right in that spot. So if you're going to stick a four cylinder transmission in a damn V8, just, you know, trying to get you by, then you need to, you need to get that pilot bearing and change it. But obviously the bell housing is different. The 2.3 bell housing and the V8 bell housing are definitely different. So I do not have a four cylinder uh, bell housing to show you, but this is the V8 bell housing. And on, at least on the, the V8 world class ones, it was E3ZR uh, 6394 AA. Now, as far as the bell housing inside, you know, the ball is the same on the four cylinder and the V8. Um, and we keep going. I want to show you a little tip on this too. Check this out. You ever wonder if you have a crack or a chip in your bell housing, all you really has got to do is hold it like this, tap it on the ground. Hear that rattle? That should go ding like a bell. Now you hear a rattle because of this. Now watch what happens. This is how you check for cracks in your bell. Just kind of the, you know, the backyard mechanic thing to do. Hear that? Nice little bell sound. So that'll tell you right there because aluminum will have a dead sound. Now, as you can see with this bell housing, we got a little small problem. You always want to check the threads. This one needs to be chased. It probably needs a Healy coil, you know, because these get all beat up because these are M12s and everybody always sticks those damn standards in there thinking that's the right one and it ain't. So. Moving on, V8, 2.3 are different. So obviously, the flywheel is going to be different. This is a V8 flywheel, okay? And V8 flywheel has the, don't, don't pay attention to this E1ZR. I'm going to tell you that right now. You're going to get lost. You need to pay attention to this number. See it? E6ZRAA. This is a 50-ounce factory V8. Uh, flywheel 157 tooth you know and there is there is differences especially with the new non-world class stuff and, and six of these you know bolts for the clutch are all going to be evenly spaced now if you had a non-world class 10 inch clutch it would be like two here two here two here i don't got one right now to show you but we're gonna go ahead and go with that so as far as the top plate is concerned, top plate on a V8 and a four cylinder are the same. They both carry the same neutral safety switch sensor with the, you know, with the, uh, the or excuse me, with the little pin. So give me a second here. That's the shifter turret. Uh, this little pin here. If I can get it out, I, am, I apologize. I should have had this stuff laid out. But that's all right, you guys can follow me. Got a little ball. See this little pin? 
This is what ignite or ignite. Yeah. This is what uh, goes against this little ball here that closes the circuit for the neutral safety. If you ever miss that thing and you're ever gone, you know, like, damn, I don't have the pin. It's gone, blah, blah, blah. Do yourself a favor. Go to the store. Buy yourself, I think it's 764. See that? Give me a second here and I'll pull this off. I've had a lot of pins missing, right? So I'll go to the store. I'll buy this drill bit, 764, and I'll cut the stock off. You cut all the way down there and you could actually grind this pin and this and this 764 drill bit and whatever piece can be your pin now. I'm serious. State law. So, anyways, you could use that if you're missing a pin because you know those are easy to easy to drop. Anyways, as far as the tail tail shafts concerned, uh, tail shafts are the same. Shifter turret, all this stuff is the same. Four cylinder AMV8. Top place the same. Four cylinder AMV8. Just like I was saying. Forks are the same, rod, all this linkage stuff, all the same. Moving over to the main case, same thing. All this stuff, V8 four cylinder, always the same, okay? That includes your, there's a difference. 92, 93 had a different way for this linkage to work. 87, 91 used this spring. 92, 93 had this little spring here that, you know, it would, uh, it, it just, it, it's just, it's just the way it put tension on this rod was a little bit different. But your reverse idler, all this stuff is the same, four cylinder V8. So what's that telling you? Main case, tail shaft, top plate, all can be reused in a V8 trans. You wanna hear something killer? This main shaft is the same. Four cylinder and V8 main shafts are identical. Don't care what anybody says, they're identical. This is a three, four slider, okay? This is what the fork goes, go right here. See that? Always want to aim the beveled side to the front. That's just rule of thumb. That's the way they come out. So that's just always the way I put them back in. So all these little, these little edges here, this is all the stuff that engages the neutral, uh, or excuse me, the fourth fork gear input. And then there's a, you know, obviously a synchro that sits down in here, a blocker ring or whatever. And all these teeth here, this is how you could tell that the synchro was actually kind of good in this gear because you can just kind of examine these teeth here because this is the engagement teeth for third, and not naturally there's a blocker ring here. So, moving on, slider, three, four slider, same, 2.3 inch V8. Uh, one, two slider, the same, V8 and 2.3. Like I said, you can check out these teeth. This one was actually in pretty good shape for the most part. You can see like a little ridge on them. See that? That's, first gear was perfect. Second gear always has a little bit of beat up or whatever, but that doesn't mean they're bad. If they're unless they're broken, they're, they're not bad. And when we put these things together, you got to make sure your your uh, these line up with the with the keys. So, anyways, that's the same two point three. Reverse, all the same. Slider, arm, reverse gear, reverse gear or fifth reverse gear. Excuse me. Synchro. This is I think these are the plugs from the factory. The rubber plug that actually. Uh, you know they put these in from the factory because i'm pretty sure that they filled them with with trans fluid and this is what kept them from leaking in the back back here kind of crazy i don't know and then there's always uh these this is the obviously the um this is for the gear obviously for the the, the rear gear ratio whatever these are usually in an olive or a yellow color six or seven tooth got to put these in the back you see what i'm getting at most of the stuff is the same you know and i'm gonna move over here block plate is different obviously because the bell housing is different now we already know the flywheel is different and we already know the clutch is different so shifter turret the same reverse light harness that whole harness that's underneath the carbon all the same so where am i getting at here pretty much all the most of the stuff 80 percent of the stuff on a t5 v8 and 2.3 are the same but the main part about it is the fact that your input shaft is smaller and these gears are actually smaller. And I'm gonna show you the best part of this video. Number one, this is an input shaft from a 2.3, okay? And I had my buddy over here already messing with it, but I'm looking for the bearing retainer. 
the variant in I handed you. Anyways, On the table. this input shaft is completely different than a V8. Not only is it different size-wise and strength-wise, but I got a V8 one over here that I'm gonna show you. Check it out. Look at that. Look at the difference. Look. Now, if you're going to buy a T5, all right, and you're like, man, I don't know if it's a V8 or a four-cylinder because it don't have no damn tag on it, here's a little trick. See this? 17 millimeter wrench. Whoop, whoop. If you don't got, you know, calipers, 17 millimeter wrench. Fits right over the tip of a V8 trans. See that? Doesn't jingle. See that? Doesn't jingle. Four cylinder. Look at that. Look at the gate. Look at the gap. See that? Now I could give you actual measurements, but I just wanted to show you. You ever go to buy a T5? That's how you tell. Right off the bat. I mean, I could see it by my face. You know, just face, you know, just, just look at the face of the, uh, the trans. Also, something I didn't know. The bearing retainers are different. See where this cup is? See that? This is bigger. It also carries the, I'm going to give you the number here. 1352027919. That, this bearing retainer doesn't get remade in any form. So these bearing retainers in good shape, which you can see mine's in good shape, are worth good money because you can't buy these aftermarket in any form. So, there you have it. So I want to show you third gear too. This is something I noticed as well. All these third gears got numbers on them. Okay, here's this number. See it right here? This is a factory V8 number. This is actually an 8789 V8 number. It's 52-044. Now, if you go over back over to this third gear... you'll see the number is different. Now these, both these transmissions were sent from the same genre. So see that 1352-080-115? Now here's the killer part. Look at the differences in size too. If you can't, you can see it in your eye. Like if you've seen it in front of you, you'd be like, yeah, that's, this four cylinder gear is, thir is, is, is actually smaller than on the gear patterns than it is the V8 one. So let me make sure I don't get this mixed up. Okay. So all world-class T5s, 8793 all have an 048 cluster too, counter bolt, or it has the, the, the counter number on it or whatever. And all these numbers are all different too. You gotta pay attention to the last three. 989, that is the second gear. And first gear is should be a 985, and it is. See, this is that's how I know. I know this stuff. So there you go. I hope I shine some light on it. So the main thing you can take. A four-cylinder trans, take it apart, use top plate, rear tail, main case, most of its internals, including its main shaft, okay? The only things you got to replace, for the most part, are these gears and this input. This input is considered fourth gear, so... You gotta replace first, second gear, third gear, input. And you need to replace the counter because I showed you the 048 counter. This is actually an aftermarket one, so this isn't a good one to use. I got some broken ones down here, I'll show you. Uh, you can see, you can see the paint here, right? Not a good one to use. Anyways, they all carry different numbers. This one, was tore up from the floor up and it had a 068 cluster number see that that's a v8 9293 anyways i hope i helped you guys figure it out you know so if you was to get a four cylinder trans you can buy a gear set counter you could make it a uh you know a clone z spec if you wanted to you know what i mean because most of the hardware is there so you can see the difference. These things weren't rated very well. They had a one, uh, 397 first gear, which made them really wind out really quick. So they're not good to use in turbos. I mean, they're good to use in cars that are that are in a pinch. But I, you put a four-cylinder trans in front of a, any, any gear ratio that's like 327 or higher, and you're going to be shifting second gear in 10 feet. But anyways, I hope you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe. I have went through it. I know I've missed some stuff here, but if you got any questions, you know, just let me know. You know a couple of the other things like all the hardware and stuff all the same so you know you know these little bearings all this stuff 
all these internal parts all the same. You know what I mean? Pretty much the only thing difference between a four cylinder and a V8 is the front bearing retainer and its gear, its gear set, it just its raw gears. You see what I mean? So you can make them all interchange. So anyways, uh, have a good day. Like and subscribe. Make sure you check out my other videos.